Miss Nisia John of Westmoreland emerged winner of the finals of the 2016 competition last Saturday at the St. George's University. Miss John began the challenge five months ago and competed with 46 other students from five different secondary schools around the island. Pastor Stanford Simon, CEO of Christian Services Corporation, the main sponsor of the competition, said Brain Bee started in 2009 and has provided students with immense opportunities. To see when you look at 50, 70 children beginning a process to um, become the best brain in, in, in Grenada and uh, six, seven secondary school. And these kids working together, one learning about the mind, learning to study, learning to understand themselves, getting to meet professors from the university, having the opportunity to look at the brain and hold it in their hand for which they never get to, to, to do, it has changed their mindset, it has changed their life. Ms. John won herself not only the trip to Denmark, but a tablet, neuroscience books, personal and school trophies, participant certificates, gift bags from St. George's Baptist Church, and a stethoscope. Second place winner, Ashwarya Gilks from St. Joseph's Convent. St. George received a tablet, participant certificates, gift bags from St. George's Baptist Church, and a stethoscope. Third place winner Kunta Andel from the Presentation Brothers College received a phone, participant certificate, gift bags from St. George's Baptist Church, and a stethoscope. 2015 winner Toya Amadi told participants about her journey throughout the competition during Saturday's event. I like to think of it as a journey. One for the school highways, and some really huge bottles. From the beginning right to the end, however, there had never been a dull moment. Phase one of my journey began with nationals. I distinctly remember Ms. Velma making an announcement at school for all persons interested in participating in the 2015 Breaking Challenge. First time ever hearing of the competition, I was not immediately taken away. However, with relentless persuasion by friends, Coupled with your very grand prize of a trip to Australia, I decided to have a home. Pastor Stanford challenged the business community to contribute towards the future of the nation's children as it cost approximately $150,000 to produce this program. Oslin Crosby, GBN News.